Hi everyone and welcome to part two of this video talking about or presenting a project. If you haven't seen the first part, here's a link to the first part. So click on the first part and watch the first part now. If you have already seen the first part, as I said, this is part two. So I'm going to tell you vocabulary, nouns and also verbs that you can use to talk about your project or to present your project using you know the most effective vocabulary. So always when you're talking about presenting your project you will need to talk about schedules. Behind schedule or on schedule you know hopefully you will this is what the words you will use um, or ahead of schedule which means you have a lot of time. You could be under budget, meaning that you're saving money, or you could be within budget. You know, your budget is here. In the example I gave in the last video, the budget was 100,000 euros. So you're still, you know, you're still within budget if you haven't reached that. And over budget means spending too much money on this project or the budget is too small. You will talk about targets, which as I explained the word target in the first video, and you know, if you have problems, maybe you will talk about lost time. So let's look at the verbs that we can use with these words. So the first two are quite easy. It's the verb be. So you can be behind budget or um, sorry, you can be behind schedule or on schedule or ahead of schedule or you can be under budget or within budget or over budget. So your boss could ask you or the client could ask you, are you behind schedule or are you on schedule or are you within budget or are you over the budget? Are you spending too much money? Um, with the target, it's similar to a deadline, but you meet a deadline or you reach a target. Reach a target or reach the target. And then finally, if you have problems and you lose time, so let's imagine that you have a, your computer shut down and you can't use them or you can't use your IT system and you lose two days work, and then after that you have to recuperate this. You have to work double or overtime or you have to get extra employees. The idea is that you make up for lost time. So you lose the time and then after that you do something to make up for lost time. So a quick example of these, if you've watched video one, you will know that the example I gave was you're a startup company and you're developing an app. So at the end of this process, you could say something like, well, we had some problems. One of our developers was ill. So we fell behind schedule or we were behind schedule. Also here you can fall behind schedule. So we fell behind schedule or we were behind schedule. So in order to reach the target, we had to hire an extra freelancer, an extra developer, and that, that meant we had to pay more money. So we were over budget or we went over budget. But at the end, because we hired this extra developer, we made up for lost time and the customer was really happy so she didn't mind paying a little bit more because we went over budget because the quality was so good. So as I said in the first video, try to use these words here, write about a project, write some sentences about your project, describe the end of the project, the budgets, the target, if you had any lost time or if you were behind schedule and just practice using these words. Feel free to write them here and I'll have a look at them and correct them. And if you like the video, like it and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon.
If you want to see more video tips like this, just click on these videos here. So when do we use in, on, at to talk about time and to talk about location? This video will talk about the top three tips to remember vocabulary. So do you know the difference between this and this? Why?